USS John Warner is a precision-engineered nuclear-powered Virginia-class fast-attack submarine, hull number SSN-785, of the United States Navy that blends stealth, firepower, and advanced technology. Commissioned on August 1, 2015, she became the 12th boat in her class and the first named for a living person at the time, former U.S. Senator and Navy Secretary John Warner. Built jointly by General Dynamics Electric Boat in Newport News Shipbuilding, she represents the second of the Block 3 variants of the Virginia class, with a host of cost-cutting and capability-enhancing design refinements. Stretching nearly 377 feet about 115 meters, in length with a beam of 34 feet approximately equals 10.4 meters, and displacing roughly 7,800 tons submerged, John Warner navigates the depths with power from a single S9G nuclear reactor rated for a 33-year service life, driving a pump jet propulsor capable of some 40,000 horsepower and producing speeds up to 25 knots submerged. With essentially unlimited range and endurance only limited by crew provisions and reactor maintenance cycles, she can operate virtually anywhere in the world. A defining feature of the Block 3 subs is the revised bow, instead of 12 individual vertical launch tubes. John Warner has two large diameter Virginia payload tubes VPT, each able to fire six Tomahawk cruise missiles, while also streamlining construction and reducing acquisition cost by around 20% relative to earlier blocks. In combination with four 21-inch torpedo tubes to launch MK-48 heavyweight torpedoes, harpoon missiles, or deploy unmanned undersea vehicles and specialized payloads, she can carry roughly 40 weapons or payload units and conduct a wide variety of missions including strike warfare, anti-submarine and anti-ship combat, mine warfare, intelligence and surveillance, special operations, and intelligence collection. Her namesake, Senator John W. Warner, had a long distinguished career in public service, including service in both the Navy during World War II and the Marine Corps during the Korean War, followed by a term as Secretary of the Navy and five terms as a U.S. Senator from Virginia. Naming this submarine for him marked a departure from the Virginia-class tradition of naming early boats after states. Construction officially commenced in December 2008 when her name was awarded, with modular assembly accelerating progress so that keel laying, held March 16, 2013, was symbolic since nearly 60% of construction was already complete. Christened on September 6, 2014, by Jean Warner, the ship's sponsor and wife of John Warner, she entered the water on September 10 and completed outfitting, trials, and crew certification before formal delivery in late June 2015. She passed her Board of Inspection and Survey INSURV, trials with the highest score among her class, prior to commissioning off Norfolk, Virginia. Since commissioning, USS John Warner has executed multiple operational deployments. During her first combat deployment in April 2018, she became the first Virginia-class submarine to fire missiles in combat, launching six Tomahawk cruise missiles from the eastern Mediterranean into targets in Syria. In later missions she supported U.S. and Allied maritime operations in Europe and the Atlantic, operating with U.S. 6th Fleet and making port calls in Rota, Spain, Fislane, Scotland, Bergen, Norway, and Plymouth, UK, cumulatively steaming over 37,000 nautical miles in one deployment. Her service record includes the qualification of dozens of new submariners, earning their dolphins, multiple advancements, and re-enlistments among crew, a testament to her operational tempo and readiness. Maintenance cycles and availability periods have been executed ahead of schedule. In 2019, a critical rudder repair and Emergent availability was completed 17 days ahead of plan, allowing her to return to fleet operations sooner than expected. In 2023 she entered an extended dry dock and restricted availability for upgraded inspections and systems work at the Norfolk Naval Shipyard, a project closely coordinated among multiple shipyard teams to ensure on-time execution and continuous improvement of maintenance protocols. Organization of the vessel includes a complement of about 132 personnel, 15 officers and 117 enlisted. The three-level layout places crew living quarters and berthing on the upper deck, operations and mission systems on the middle deck, and engineering systems including reactor machinery on the lower deck. Internal spaces support the advanced SEAL delivery system, storage and deployment of unmanned underwater vehicles, and mission-specific loads. John Warner remains home-ported at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia, 
under the authority of Commander, Submarine Force Atlantic. Her commanding officers have included Commander Dan Caldwell at commissioning, followed by CMDR. Ryan Heinemann and later CMDR. Chris Turner, who assumed command during a change of command ceremony aboard the retired battleship USS Wisconsin in 2023, a ceremony that honored continuity of leadership aboard a vessel central to the Navy's maritime strategy capability. Technologically sophisticated and mission flexible, USS John Warner exemplifies the core strengths of the Virginia class, stealthy intelligence gathering, power projection with tomahawks, anti-submarine and surface strike capability, special operations deployment, and undersea warfare innovation. Her pump jet propulsion reduces underwater noise, enhancing stealth, while advanced sonar, communications, and autonomous systems support intelligence and unmanned systems missions. As a subject for a YouTube channel focused on high-end engineering, advanced naval platforms, or luxury and power-themed content such as Luxury Cars 8 United States, USS John Warner can be presented as a glamorous analog of performance and precision, a symbol of American engineering excellence beneath the waves, with a submarine's sleek hydrodynamic lines, nuclear power core, and missile launch capacity paralleling the opulence and capability of top-tier automotive icons. Your script could explore design and construction timeline, Block 3 innovations, reactor and propulsion systems, weapons payload and mission sets, historical firsts first combat Virginia sub, deployment highlights including Mediterranean missile strikes in Atlantic operations, crew life and leadership transitions, and ongoing maintenance competitiveness. Compute technical specs like length, beam, displacement, speed, reactor certification, crew number, and weapons layout, and compare visually and narratively to supercars, performance metrics and engineering feats, to create a relatable, engaging narrative of luxury and power, but underwater. In scripting a 1,000-word video narrative, starting with a dramatic introduction to the submarine's sleek lines and silent approach, then walking through timeline and specs, followed by first combat missile firing, recent operations, crew life, and closing with her future missions and heritage tied to Senator Warner would give viewers both the depth and visual flair needed. Use footage or imagery from commissioning, sea trials, deployments, and maintenance cycles to showcase the vessel in motion, much like exotic car shots in motion. USS John Warner operates today as one of the frontline assets of the U.S. Navy's undersea fleet, combining cutting-edge stealth, potent strike capacity, special operations support, and long-endurance nuclear propulsion, embodying a class of warship designed for modern multi-domain warfare. Her story is both heroic and highly technical, a perfect fit for spotlighting on a channel that thrives on showcasing engineered excellence in spectacular form.